of Iraq is still failing to form a new government. Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki refuses to step down. He believes he should serve a third term since Iraq's newly elected prime minister, or president rather, failed to name a prime minister by Sunday's deadline. And the United States now sending weapons to Kurdish forces in Iraq. The U.S. military also launched another round of airstrikes against militants from the group called ISIS that has taken over large parts of Iraq. Kurdish forces say they recaptured two cities from ISIS. President Obama finds himself facing critics on both sides, some saying we are doing too much, others not enough in Iraq. Dr. James Mirnika, political science professor at the University of North Texas, author of The Political Use of Military Force in U.S. Foreign Policy, exactly what we're talking about this morning. Good morning. Good morning. We, we now hear the United States is supplying Kurdish forces with arms, not just supporting them with air power, actually likely the CIA, uh, supplying them with arms, and this time not through the government of Iraq. It's uh, where they're being supplied directly. What does that say about our relationship with the government of Iraq? I think of the relationship with the government of Iraq right now is very frayed. The, uh, the current prime minister has uh, called on some of his forces to come out into the streets and uh, uh, basically kind of protect his hold on power while a new government um, is uh, being formed in Iraq, and we've clearly made our position known that uh, we prefer a more inclusive government than the current prime minister can form. Uh, so there's a great deal of distrust right now between the current Iraqi government and the U.S., and so we have begun directly aiding the uh, Kurdish forces on the battlefield. Uh, let, let, give, me a, give me a primer here, if we can do a lightning round on, on the players involved. Uh, first of all, the Kurds. Who are the Kurds? We like the Kurds. The United States does. Yes, we do. We've been um, good allies with the Kurds uh, going back uh, over 20 years. They have uh, carved out a fairly autonomous region in the north of Iraq. It's been uh, something of an oasis of uh, stability, uh, democracy, and development. And their uh, forces, the Peshmerga, have done a fairly effective job at um, defending uh, those areas, but they are currently running out of ammunition and are also in need of some of that uh, close air support that the U.S. military can provide. Then we've got the, uh, the religious differences. The Sunnis uh, are the minority in Iraq, but they used to be in charge when Saddam Hussein was in charge. Um, now, now they're kind of locked out, and thus we have ISIS. Correct. Yeah, there's um, the Sunnis uh, had been um, part of the power structure under Saddam Hussein. It's now more of a Shiite government. Um, that uh, uh, part of the uh, the religious culture in Iraq is now uh, the dominant power in the government. The Sunnis have been somewhat disenfranchised. Um, by the moves of the Shiite government and Prime Minister Maliki. Uh, he has taken out um, a number of effective military leaders and replaced them with uh, some of his allies. And they have not done as an effective job at uh, fighting ISIS, that is the Islamic State of uh, Iraq and Syria that has been on the move uh, towards Baghdad and also now in the north. Um, and so there's, there's some fear that unless a more inclusive government that brings in the Sunnis as well as the Kurds and some of the other minorities in Iraq, unless that kind of inclusive government is formed, um, that there's not going to be an effective military response to, uh, uh, to this ISIS threat. We, we hear that other regional powers like Saudi Arabia and Jordan are equally opposed to ISIS. They want ISIS to go away. They feel threatened by ISIS. Why don't they get involved? They've got an air force. Why is it always up to us to, uh, to, to launch the military action? Well, I think the, uh, the Kurdish forces um, would be much more inclined to want the U.S. coming to their aid. Um, it's uh, been the case that sometimes in the past some of the governments in the region, or at least some individuals in those states, like in Saudi Arabia and Qatar and others, have actually provided some of the funding uh, for the ISIS movement. Uh, so I think there's more of a desire for the U.S. to really uh, take the lead on this and demonstrate that uh, we are going to at least stop this ISIS uh, move um, into Kurdistan and hopefully um, also put a stop to the threat to these um, individuals who are trapped, uh, trapped on this mountaintop um, near the border with Kurdistan. And, and, and yet we're, we're saying to the Shiite government that you have to be more inclusive of the Sunnis and so to give you breathing room to do that, we're going to bomb the Sunnis who are ISIS. It, it just is, that's why Americans are so confused by this. It's, it's a very tangled political and military situations. But the, the Sunnis, um, 
I think had they been more a part of the government, would not um, have thrown in their lot with ISIS. Because on the one hand, they have the ISIS fighters saying, you know, uh, come uh, work with us and we'll protect you against uh, Maliki and his government. Um, and then you have Maliki trying to fight the, the ISIS rebels. So the Sunni tribesmen that we had aligned with back during our surge in 2007-2008 um, have been uh, uh, basically sort of uh, co-opted by the ISIS militants. Right. And now they, they do pose a threat to the government. But it's, you know, it's certainly clear that they could just as easily fall away because uh, they do not share that many interests with ISIS. Um, but they certainly do have an interest uh, in protecting themselves against the Maliki government. Well, my head's spinning a little bit less, thanks to you this morning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. James Mirnick, political science professor at the University of North Texas and author of this book, The Political Use of Military Force in U.S. Foreign Policy. Thanks so much for joining us.